Hello there and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be looking at this today, Spectrum 19. It's a big hardcover book. It says the best in contemporary fantastic art. So this book is, as you can see, rather thick. It's hardcover. It's the 19th in a series that's up to, I think, maybe 27 at the moment, still going. Published by Underwood Books. So you can see that there. Curated by and edited by Kathy Fenner and Arnie Fenner. Now, when I looked on their website, they've got a website, spectrumfantasticart.com, talks about the um, this project. Um, and they've been, apparently they said the first one, Spectrum 1, was published in 1994. Now, when I had a look on Amazon anyway, looking back at the, the first issue, it seemed to be published in 2003, so I'm not sure about that discrepancy. Uh, I don't want to give inaccurate information, but it looked to me anyway like these were being published from 2003 onwards. Um, generally in a hardcover and soft paperback version as well. This one's obviously the hardcover version. It's absolutely brimming with art. Um, and it is, um, I don't know, it is, I suppose it's called Spectrum perhaps because it covers a wide spectrum um, of tastes uh, and styles as well. So there's a real, um, I don't want to say smorgasbord, I don't want to overuse that word, but there is a smorgasbord of delights in here. There's almost like they're trying to cram too much in and the downside there is that some of the artwork is featured is having to occupy just sort of a, a quarter or half of a page when really it ought to be produced full page. Right, so it's got a hard cover as I say. OMG, that's lovely. For me, I know that's by Brom, the artist, but I don't know who's done this one. For me, it's one of those books where I actually prefer the, the non-dust jacket cover. Um, yeah, but both really good. It's the 19th volume. Let's have a look inside. See what we've got. So I'll just show you some highlights because it will take a long time to go through all of it. And wouldn't want to spoil it either, actually. This is amazing. I love this. This contents page image. Look at this massive kind of sea dragon, sea monster. Is it a dinosaur? I don't know. But it's huge. And these people, obviously this spear, that would be totally futile if it wasn't dead, wouldn't it? He would be, yeah, eaten. But they're just staring. You do occasionally see something washed up, don't you, from the sea, but it's never that. And I like the way it's done in this old sort of oils, that one. Um, but it looks like a really old sort of painting. Look at the size of those teeth. Big as a child. So it's on page 119. Should we skip forward and just check that out whilst we're on the topic? So this is what I was saying earlier about, you know, some of these, they deserve to be given more space. Um, anyway, I know that they're trying to fit in as much as they can, so um, it's not a huge criticism. That. So here's the contents, a few things here to begin with, then the show, and it is sort of um, organised into these different categories, as you can see. Yeah. Chairman's message. Here are the Fenners winning awards, etc. Like this uh, pirate. That's something from Pirates of the Caribbean. I like this actually. So it's like humans are among us. It makes me laugh. As if humans would be the. It's like a role reversal, isn't it? The humans are scary. It's emerging from the water, that human. Creepy. Scaring that poor monster. Anyway, let's have a look through. As with quite a few of the books that I uh, review and look through on this channel, I think again the artwork is going to speak for itself here. It doesn't need me to prattle on, you know. And what I was saying about the different style, you know, it's quite different styles between, say, those two pieces already. This has got a Scooby Doo quality to it. Very creepy, it's Krampus. Krampus bringing some, well, some much needed creepiness to Christmas. This 
is from a kid's book that I actually own called Troll Wood. Um, and I really like the artwork in there. This is just one of the full page, double page spreads. downright creepy papa boogedy boogedy i don't know what that is what that relates to i've got no idea about the context but it's creepy as heck <laughs> see there's often like three to a page there four to a double spread that's interesting two three so there's a the layout's fairly yeah arbitrary i would say there's a couple of boris villages there's boris there julie bell recognize that style a mile off really like those this poor robot's been beheaded by a careless human I appreciate that a lot of these pieces require um, some, you know, some time to actually look at them and study them, and reflect on what they mean, and I'm just charging through, um, you know, at quite a pace. So apologies for that. Um, I recognise a few of these pieces from other things. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Very dead. Oh, maybe not dead. Should be dead. Um, so yes, brilliant book, I find it a real feast, so many ideas, even on one page, I think as an artist it um, provides a lot of food for thought. this big sort of squid that's washed up and people are quite perplexed and it's caused not a small amount of damage is this all stuff it's eaten and spilling out coming to the end actually this is really interesting i like this like that sort of angles from quite a high angle it's called search for mother and I don't quite know what's going on, but it looks like there's a father and a child looking for mother. And unfortunately, what's happened? Either mother's become a mermaid or that's not mother at all. And the father just wants to pull the child away from the mermaid that's kind of like waking up, perhaps. Or maybe, um, I don't know. So many questions, so mysterious. But I love it. I love the treatment of it. Brilliant. Quite a lot of mermaids in this book, to be fair. Well, this mermaid has found a message in a bottle. That's nice. Look at this, 
an alphabet made up of kind of weapons and guns and stuff. Weird. Pretty cool. So there we go. There's the index. Look at all the art and artists. Got some sort of live event. Or the Han one in 2013. Wow. Brilliant book. I got this for a real bargain. It was like, I don't know, something like 17, 18 pounds. Obviously used. Um, so I feel really lucky to have picked this up. Which is interesting back design as well. So yeah, great. I'll try and find some more to review on the channel uh, from this same series. So I hope you enjoy looking at that. It really is great. There's an amazing collection of work in there. It's making me want to look at acquiring some of the others now in the series. I mean, the, the, the early ones, they're hard to get hold of now, particularly in hardcover, they seem very rare. Um, but you can certainly find the more recent ones, they're easy to purchase still. I'm not sure how long this series is going to continue for. It's been going for quite a while, as I say, since at least 2003 or 1994, if you go on the website. Uh, it tells you all about the background to this sort of project as well and where it all came from, etc. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.